Now, I had no idea what a blue tick, I didn't even notice a blue tick, until someone said to me, oh, you don't have a blue tick. Good morning. Do you know, I'm actually, I'm loving being able to do my outfit of the day in this mirror. Um, and also, isn't it lovely to see Matilda back in her chair and me back in this flat? And uh, at the moment, I'm enjoying being here. Um, and I love uh, being able to show you my outfit properly in a proper mirror. So let me tell you what I'm wearing. I know that um, a fishnet top is a bit dodgy at my age, although you will all say, Joe, stop being ageist. Um, this is from Marlene Berger. It's, I love it. It's very old, but I love it because, listen, we're, we're in... Um, we're in that very strange season, which is the end of the summer, even though this is, when you're watching this, this is Tuesday, um, the very first day of September. So I'm wearing, you know, white, uh, crisp white trousers from J. Crew, a Marlene Berger uh, fishnet cotton top, and underneath a Uniqlo vest that's my yoga vest actually um yeah so that's it and my acne pumps on my feet so yeah i know it's an odd get up but it's <clears throat> it's like appropriate for this weather i'm about to go and have my neck injected um you know i had an led light thing um that i was using well Something's happened to it. I don't know if I broke it on the move. It's not working. So I'm going to actually contact the lovely people that gave it to me. I didn't even buy it uh, to ask if I have broken it or whether I could have it replaced. Meanwhile, I'm off to have uh, Profilo on my neck, the second round. It is working. This is um, just little injections of um, hyaluronic acid into my neck. So nothing big, nothing invasive. And it is working. My neck is beginning to look a little bit less like a turkey. And then I'm heading into work. So, yeah. What's it doing outside my window? Did you see what I mean? No one is back here. This is the centre of London and no one is back in their flats. They're all in their country houses. I've got like Marylebone to myself at the moment. Anyway, let's press on. Look who's producing today. Hello. She is back producing. Um, can I just thank you, Gapreet? Oh my God, what for? Oh gosh, that's gone all wrong. Can I thank you for the masks that you and your mum made? Thank you for buying them off Well, me. right, can we just explain? I'm going to put in a clip in a moment of me and my mother wearing them you because so cool. I know and she loves them. She's at the hairdressers um, today wearing hers. Um, but does this, does some of it go to charity? Yes. Oh. Yes, because we've been making uh, wash bags and masks for our local hospital. That's it? amazing. And, um, and that's where your grand was. Your grand that's where it? my grand was. Yeah. With COVID, yeah. Um, so it's got a lovely connection. I'm going to leave the link below if you are interested in one of Capri's masks. Um, and we've got the Buddha ones, but you do There's all the loads of prints, sumo wrestlers, little dogs, stars, planets, loads. So this is me and my mum in our masks. I'll insert the clip now. <laughs> We're very impressed, aren't we? Yes, lovely. You have to look down there, Mutti. Yes, very nice, lovely. Thank you very much. It's thank really you, Gapreet. And thank you, Gapreet's mother. And they, the money goes to charity. Yeah, very good idea. Yours matches <coughs> your sweater, Mutti. Yeah. So where are you going to be wearing yours to? The hairdresser, the she, big event. The big event yeah. is the hairdresser. So up till now, you've only had the blue surgery, the medical one. So yeah. this is much better. Oh, this is much better. Better, yeah. Is it, does it fit all right? Well, it's a bit loose there. Yeah, I need to. I I can tighten it there. Yeah, but it's got Buddhas on it. Yeah, and it's much better to breathe through the other one. It's it is, big, isn't it? Yeah, much better. Capreet yeah. and Mrs. Suki, thank you so much, uh, Mrs. Uh, Suki and Capreet. Thank you. Bye then. Bye.
So what am I doing today on the show? Gapreet, gapreet, gapreet. Is this how that works? I thought you pick the guests, you book them, and you tell me what you'd like coming up. That's and what I do, basically. Send me the numbers. I say, find me this person. I don't want anyone famous. I don't want any celebrity. I want real people in real, real people, time. Real stories. With real stories. Real London so connection. So who have we got that's got a London connection is a real person with a real story. All coming up. <laughs> this is Hello. our... This, this is our... I am sitting down because they are so tall and also so young. Um, but I'm sitting down because I just look even shorter. So this is Sanya, who, Hello. if you call the show, you'll often hear her. But you work on loads of different shows, don't you? I work on loads of different shows. This is weird because I'm a subscriber as well. So I'm going to watch oh, back and I'm going to be like, oh... Me. She's a subscriber. I'm, well, she has to be. I force everyone to be. Which show do you prefer working on most? Yours, hundred percent, and that's that's the truth. I'm not even lying. And if you work on the show, you have to subscribe. <laughs> yeah, that's a free requirement. Yeah. Truly, though, um, they are a brilliant team. Right, I better concentrate. The team are here. This is Fitzrovia. In W1, it's just starting to rain. I am going to meet two friends in the Riding House Cafe which is quite a media place but the reason um it's going to be interesting for me is i was in the riding house cafe on march i think it was march the 23rd when boris johnson put us all into lockdown and i was in there with a very good friend of mine and we were talking for hours we didn't notice what was going on and then we suddenly realized this very busy cafe was empty and um, we went out on the streets and there was no one in the street now this area is full of media types and office people it's all offices and there are people you can see there are people walking around today but usually at this time which is like end of office hours it's full of mainly young people sort of going out to restaurants going out to bars um, just look. Well, there's nobody. <laughs> um, places are open. There's um, barbers. Hi. Hi! Oh, that's busy. Yeah, I'm just busy. saying, it's so yeah. quiet. Yeah, no, we're, we're the Shucks Barbers here, man, you know. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Promote it, go on, this is my YouTube This is Shucks Barbers, established 2012. You already know, man, we're here. We're here, man, we're here. Look, we're here. This is where it is all happening, this is everybody. Happening right now, baby. You know how we do. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> See you. Well, there you go. That's somewhere to go. Um, God, it really is. When you see somewhere that's got a bit of life in it, it really stands out. So, um, yes. Oh, gosh, I hate this rain. Um, this here on the corner is the riding house. And you can't just pop in. You have to make an appointment to meet to have a drink. And then I don't know whether it's shifts that you can only stay for so many hours. Although well, there's people being photographed, it's <laughs> I'm filming people being photographed. This is what I'm saying, it's very media savvy. That's it. So there are people in there. This This place, the riding house, is where careers are made and ended. I don't think we'll be sitting outside somehow. I was in here the night we went into lockdown on the 24th when Boris Johnson announced we were in lockdown and I was at the end, the place was full and I was with an old friend from the BBC and I looked up and it was just empty and the streets were just empty in one night. It just, didn't it? It just stopped. So it's lovely that you're open. I didn't actually film inside the Riding House Cafe last night because I was with um, two very good friends who are subscribers and love this vlog but certainly don't want to be on it. Um, but we had a lovely evening and it got, um, even though you had to reserve tables and the tables were very far apart, it got really busy. So I, it was so nice to see that uh, there is a bar, a cafe bar in the, well, in the, almost the centre of London that is, uh, has got some life in it. Now. What I wanted to show you, all your comments about how you love this flat, and I love this flat, and I love the light, 
But now let me show you what I'm actually living with. The rail of clothes that I go on about that you saw me move from one floor down to another, there is nowhere to put them. So the rail, just follow me, is here. So I have to keep this rail in my hallway. Turn the light on. Oh, by the way, there's one of um, the pictures, the collages. I had frames, so you see it when you come in. So this rail of clothes is forever here in my hall, um, which is not particularly attractive, is it? And also, you know, okay, I'm not having very many visitors at the moment, but people have got to squeeze around. My cleaner has to keep moving the rail up and down. So um, it's not satisfactory. And the walk-in cupboard wardrobe i'm ashamed is uh, right i'm going to give you one quick look that's it it is fit to burst so um what am i going to do well i am looking to move in fact my friends last night where am i going to put you i'll put you here i don't know if you can see me properly there hopefully you can if i move back a bit i mean my neck oh gosh you can see back of my house oh, so what see there's so many mirrors in here it's great uh, for light. It's not quite so good for filming. I think this is, I need to be, uh, I need it to be higher, otherwise, oh, I've given up really, I don't care. Right, um, so, I can chat in, in Matilda's chair. Um, so, what was I talking about? Yes, yeah, so there's mirrors everywhere, which is great for light, uh, but it means you can see the camera, you can see everything, but so what? Um, but I am thinking... <laughs> of moving, I'm looking. And um, the people I was with last night said, are you just doing this so that people will follow you? Um, because if you put moving into a title on a video, loads of people go to look at it. We're all intrigued by people moving. No, I am not doing it just so that people will follow me. But on the subject of people following me, I said last week, please subscribe, on my midweek vlog, I said, please subscribe to my Instagram. I don't, I don't even, you don't, do you subscribe? You follow, that's right, you follow my Instagram because I don't have as many people on Instagram as I do on YouTube. Um, and now I'll tell you why. So this whole social media thing is going to be my plan B because I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be doing the job I'm doing, nobody knows. No one knows anything, you know? I'm freelance on a contract. So this is, I love it, I love it. I love this technology, I love following other people's lives, I watch YouTube, I love the fact people are interested enough in my life as a woman of my age living a pretty different life to most people of my age. No kids, no grandkids, no partner. Um, so I love it. But I have to eventually make money from it. I have to. And there are people who, li who literally go online and say, this is how I make money from my YouTube. And there's transparency, and so there should be transparency. And I, you know, I don't make... Well, so a couple of things I'm going to tackle. People were talking about the amount of ads that were running through my videos last week. And we can, uh, Philippe, who is my editor, said we can turn some of them off. So we are turning some of them off because it was ludicrous. And I didn't even know that was going on. I had no idea. So hopefully there won't be so many ads. What, and also the thing I said last week is that, and I loved it, I said that I know not many of you like me doing sponsorships, but you, to a fault, anyone that commented on that said, we don't mind the sponsorships if they're brands that you use and that you fully endorse. And they are. I mean, I've, had, I've only worked with two brands, I think. And one was Lily Silk, which I wore anyway. So when they said, do you want us to give you some silk pyjamas? Can you promote them and silk pillowcases? Yes. Um, and so many of you literally, and this isn't sponsored, by the way, said, oh, we ordered them and they're fantastic and, you know, thank you and blah, blah, blah. So that is lovely. The other was Next, um, Next Beauty. And the reason I did that is I grew up with Next. It's a, it's a brand I am familiar with and I had no idea that they did Next Beauty. And again, this isn't sponsored. 
Um, and I was incredibly chuffed because they could be using young models, but they asked me to do it. Um, so, God, this is a long-winded way of saying why I want you, if you can, to follow me on Instagram is if you have enough followers on Instagram, you get a blue tick. Now, I had no idea what a blue tick, I didn't even notice a blue tick until someone said to me, oh, you don't have a blue tick. A blue tick is when you are taking seriously. People really take you seriously in this industry. And the people with blue ticks, I don't want to sound bitchy, there are people who I've never heard of, who I probably never will hear of, are here today, gone tomorrow, I am being bitchy, aren't I, who have blue ticks. I cannot get a blue tick, even though I have worked in the media, I've been an actress, a broadcaster, a presenter, a model, a gob, I've done all these things, I cannot at this age get a blue tick because I don't have enough followers. So that's a long-winded way of saying, if you follow me on Instagram, eventually I will get a blue tick. If I get a blue tick, people come to you and go, okay, so you love Samantha Sun dresses. We'd love you to wear all these Samantha Sun dresses in a vlog. Not only that, we'll pay you. Now, when I'm in my dotage, something like that would be like manna from heaven. It would be wonderful. It's only gonna happen if I have a blue tick. So basically, it's my plan B. And as for making money from this, Philippe has to be paid. I do it all in my own time. Most of my videos I am not, 99% well, are not sponsored, not collaborations. They're just me having a laugh and you commenting on it, which is what I love and a whole community. It's basically what I do on air, I'm now doing on, on a video, on a YouTube channel, just talking about myself and saying, look, this is how I live my life. What do you make of it? Tell me about yours. That's it. God, this is such a long winded. Philippe, you couldn't cut this down. I and mean, I'm sure he will. So that's it. How many of you knew about blue ticks? I didn't know anything about a blue tick until last year. That is it for this week. Um, there will be a midweek vlog on Wednesday. And otherwise, if you don't join me on Wednesdays, I will see you next Sunday. And for all of you who have subscribed, oh my gosh, thank you. For all of you who comment, I try to answer all of them on a Sunday and then I'll go back during the week and try and answer them. Thank you. The, all of you commenting about Fiorucci jeans oh, was wonderful. Your choice of denim, thank you. Um, I don't think we have any walkers this week. If you missed it last week, the wonderful Nadine Nadine Baggett was our walker last week. You need to go back to that vlog and have a look at it. See you Sunday, next Sunday or next Wednesday. Blue tick on the way. Yeah. Bye. I'm walking. Here's the knee and I'm talking.